hi i hope you're well i hope you're having a lovely day thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video today i am going to be doing my second currently video if you didn't catch april's currently video it's basically just a little excuse for me to sit down each month and talk about a load of random stuff that maybe wouldn't necessarily fit into a video in its own right but stuff that's kind of currently on my mind basically which is where the name comes from i also hope that it helps you to kind of get to know me a little bit better because it is like i said it's stuff that's currently of particular interest to me and i hope it means that you get to see more of what makes me tick i guess and not just parenting stuff if you are stopping by for the first time, hello, I'm Lucy. I am a mum of four and I share all sorts over here, kind of lifestyle, parenting type of content, day in the lifestyle, all that jazz. And I'd absolutely love it if you'd subscribe if you are not already. But anybody that watched last month knows I've got lots of different topics to get through, so I had better get on with it, really. Okay, my first topic is reading. And if you follow me on Instagram, I have already discussed the amazingness of this book over there if you're not following me on instagram maybe you should what do you reckon um anyway helps if i put the book the right way up this book is called joyful and i am loving it it is it's called joyful the surprising power of ordinary things to create extraordinary happiness and it's basically the lady that wrote it she's a former design director and she know what she doesn't know about design ain't worth knowing but basically she talks about the science behind joy basically and what it is about our brains as humans that makes us happy things that make us tick and how you can incorporate those into your home, into your design aesthetic, so that you can live a happier life. Now, I know that not every, this is not everybody's bag, like not everybody likes these kind of like designy self-help books, but I love stuff like this, and I find that every single page, there is something where I'm like nodding along, or going, oh my goodness, yes, like absolutely. Um, I just think it's a really, really nice book. It talks about things like, patterns and how why patterns make us feel joy and different colors and um circles and spots and there's a whole bit in it about rainbows and confetti so we know that i'm already on board with that stuff so yeah it's just a really interesting book to have a look at and i have been really enjoying it it's by ingrid fettel lee and it's called joyful this month i have been planning wilder's room i'm sat in wilder's room at the moment so it's ready for a reincarnation basically it was quinn's room and actually we didn't change a great deal of it when wilder moved in because quinn's theme was quite neutral she basically just had you can see a little bit of here like a rainbow confetti wall and that was about it um so i'm trying to kind of plan the new incarnation of the room now that wilder is getting a bit bigger and i feel like it should be a room that reflects him a little bit more so we're kind of going with a like sky theme basically so there's hot air balloons i've got lots of hot air balloony type bits and pieces i'm going to bring in some cloud stuff so that is what i have been planning how long it actually takes me to get this done is obviously debatable but i have been planning and just looking around and getting some ideas i've moved the furniture around in here just done some bits and pieces just trying to kind of find my feet with how i want his room to look there are two main things I have been watching this month. One TV, one film. And basically, so has the rest of the world, but I'm gonna talk about them anyway. So this month, TV, Game of Thrones finished, didn't it? I talked about Game of Thrones in my currently video last month and how much I was enjoying the series and feeling sad about the fact it was the last series and blah, 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 blah. Um, I love Game of Thrones. I have watched it from the start. Richard and I, it's one of the very few things actually that Richard and I really sit down and watch together. It finished a couple of weeks ago. I just feel a bit meh about it. I mean, I feel like it's a matter of opinion, isn't it? Initially, I watched it. I felt quite satisfied with the ending. I'm being really careful here not to put spoilers in because some people might not have watched it although if you haven't watched it seriously but yeah I felt like it was satisfying in certain ways because I felt like they did finish all the stories mostly and they finished it in a way where I felt like 
Oh, to hell with spoilers. I felt like all the Stark children had a nice, tidy ending, which I felt happy about because I liked the Starks. But I also just felt a bit meh about it. Like, I just felt like it was a bit flat, it was a bit lacking in emotion, it felt a bit rushed. And then the longer that it went on from when I'd watched it, the more I felt like, oh, they didn't finish up that story. Like, what was the point of that particular thing? If this didn't happen, what was the point of that? I just felt like... I'm going to put it out there. I felt like the writers were more interested in shocking us than giving us a really good conclusion. That's all I'm going to say about it. But on the topic of conclusion, the film that I saw this month was Endgame. I went to see The Avengers Endgame at the cinema with my husband just a few days ago. And the first thing I said when I came out was, that was everything that the Game of Thrones finale was not. It had emotion, it brought all those characters together that you've invested with for years and you saw them all together and it, yeah it was cheesy in places but it felt like a really good conclusion. I felt like it was, I felt very satisfied with how it ended, I felt sad, I felt like I'd been through an emotional thing but I felt happy with how it all ended. So yeah, Game of Thrones could have learnt a thing or two from Endgame I have to say. Just a quick one for things I'm eating this month. I have tried the Marmite peanut butter. Have you? I mean, I love Marmite. I love peanut butter. I still feel like the jury is a little bit out on the Marmite peanut butter. Everly loves it. Lots of people that I know that like Marmite and like peanut butter love it. I don't dislike it. I feel like it's a more savoury version of peanut butter. I'm just not sure how I feel about it. How, as, if you have tried it, I would be intrigued to hear how you feel about it. If you have tried it and you like it, by the way, my mum has informed me that basically it tastes exactly the same if you just put Marmite and peanut butter on toast. You don't need to buy the Marmite peanut butter. So there's a little tip for you. If you are a fan, you don't really need to buy a special product. You can just use the two separate ones together. I have been trying to drink more water. I'm not necessarily sure I'm doing it that successfully. If you've got any great tips for upping your water intake. I mean, I, I drink a lot of squash, which I guess it's not that bad. It's better than like drinking Coke or lemonade and stuff, but I'm trying to drink more water. And I would really welcome some tips if you have good tips on how you can get more water in, because yeah, that's what I'm trying to do this month. Drink more water. I have, I think I'm pretty sure I said this in my April currently video. I have been pinning garden ideas mostly and that is still ongoing. We are kind of working our little butts off to try and get the garden ready. I, the kind of plan being that by the time sort of July kicks in and the school holidays kick in that we have got the garden tip top, you know, safe for the children primarily, fun place to play, something we can just go out there and enjoy. What we've done so far I love. Rich and I were only saying the other night that we walked out in the garden, we were just watering some stuff and we said that both of us suddenly have this like really content feeling when we go out in the garden where we're sort of getting there. There is still a lot more to do. We've basically done one side and there are another three sides to do. And don't even get me started on our front garden because that's a mess. I've just been pinning things that are modern and fun and colourful and stuff that is easy to look after because hell we don't need complicated stuff stuff that involves the kids um yeah that's basically what i have been pinning and looking at this month and in a similar vein the stuff that i have been crafting this month again i don't know if you saw it on my instagram but we have put a whole ton of little pots along our fence and they've all got tiny little plants now i guess gardening is technically not crafting but i've been so busy gardening i haven't had time for crafting so I feel like it's stuff that you're making with your hands so it counts, right? But yeah, basically we've got all these little pots and they're all hanging along the fence and they've all got little plants in. I had loads of fun doing that with the kids, getting our hands dirty, getting stuck in. We've been really enjoying doing that together as a family. On the topic of going places, we have been just enjoying going outside a lot more. I feel like I might have said that last month too. But one thing that we really enjoyed doing was going to Mersey. Now we, if you don't know, are based in Essex and Mersey Island is a little island 
off of the coast of Essex. We tend to spend a lot of time there in the summer. It's one of our sort of happy places as a family. And we went there at the weekend and we had a lovely day on the beach building sandcastles and paddling. And it was our first proper beach trip this summer and it was just really really nice if you are anywhere near our little corner of the uk i would definitely recommend mersey island for a little day trip it's just cute it's really hard to put your finger on it it's it's not a built up seaside place there's not like arcades there's not a pier it's just a really nice simple if you want a really nice simple beach day out i think it's a lovely place to go it's like a little fish and chip shop that's really nice yeah, we will be there inevitably several times over the summer, I would assume, because it's just one of our happy places to go as a family and it's just down the road, so which is great. The first thing that jumped to my mind when I had to think of something I was loving this month is I have been loving cloth nappies. We made the dive probably about a month ago actually into using cloth nappies with Wilder and I have fallen hard for it. I don't know why I didn't try it before. So we have been using some all-in-one cloth nappies and i've also made the dive into cloth wipes i'm just loving the whole thing i'm not going to waffle on about it here because i could talk about it till the cows come home if you're interested in a video about cloth nappies and that kind of thing i'm happy to do another video on what we do basically we've just been trying to make some greener choices this year and trying to reduce our impact on this planet a little bit and i feel like that is one change that i can make that we can make as a family and i've just been really enjoying it i've definitely fallen hard for the whole cloth bum thing because they're green and because they're soft and lovely and they're not going in my rubbish bin and they're cute and colorful it's like win 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 generally just dreaming of disney i'm very excited for it to be june and us to be able to say we're going to disney very exciting i have been buying up um disneyland well not disneyland but like mickey t-shirts planning our outfits planning our restaurant dinners planning what we're doing on what day i'm so excited for some disney magic and so are the kids feeling how am i feeling i'm actually feeling pretty tired at the moment i have to say funnily enough Wilder is sleeping probably the best. He slept really brilliantly as a newborn and then he went backwards at four months and never really got better again. But he's been really, really good lately and he's sleeping through a lot of the time or if he is getting up, he's only getting up once. But it just seems to be making me feel more tired. How is that? Why does that happen? But yeah, I just feel exhausted. I think I am really enjoying, we're having half term at the moment and it's been really nice to slow down the pace for a bit, but I am ready for a slower pace full stop i'm ready for those six weeks holiday now i'm ready for those warmer days and those lighter evenings and i just feel like i re need to re-energize a little bit i feel like maybe i need to take a little bit of time for me because we are so busy at the moment and i feel like us mums aren't always the best are we at prioritizing time for ourselves but i just feel a little bit run down I definitely think I probably need to put some early nights on my to-do list and just a little bit more rest and a little bit less action. I talked about podcasts for listening last month and I'm going to talk about podcasts again. So I talked last month about the fact that I really like a crime podcast and I talked about Serial and I talked about Slow Burn. If you are into those kind of thing, I have found two more that I'm absolutely loving. I've completely listened to the whole of To Live and Die in LA, which was really good. It was quite sort of short and compact series, but it was a really, really good one. And I'm now listening to Up and Vanished, which is so gritty and has got so much content to it. So if you really like a crime one, I can definitely recommend that one. And last up, celebrating. I have been celebrating Wilder this month because he's standing, not quite walking, that's standing which is very exciting and he's also learning to clap which is super super cute and definitely worthy of some celebration and that's it from me i hope you have enjoyed watching and let me know what you're currently doing to one of those topics in the comments i'd love to know what you're up to and i'll see you for another video really soon bye everyone